What's up guys, I'm Puni from Programmers and welcome back to the series on JavaScript. In this video, we will learn about the ternary operator which can be used to replace if-else statements in certain situations to make our code look cleaner. So let's get started. Let's start with the syntax of the ternary operator. The ternary expression starts with the test condition like x less than 0 or name equals to punit or anything that evaluates to true or false. If this test condition is true, the expression before the colon is executed. And if the test condition results in false, this expression or the one after the colon is executed. As you can see from the syntax, the ternary operator takes three operands, hence the name ternary operator. Now let's see an example of the ternary operator. On my code editor, I'll create an age variable and assign a value 15 to it. I will now create a ternary condition age greater than equals 18. Let me put that inside parenthesis. And then I'll put a question mark. If the condition is true, I want to put or print can vote. Similarly, if the test condition is false, I want to print cannot vote. Let me run this program. As you can see, cannot vote is printed. This is because here the age is 15, which is not greater than or equals to 18. That means this Boolean expression is false. And that is why the part after the colon or console log cannot vote is executed. And that's why we got cannot vote as an output. If you're enjoying this video, please also check out Program is Pro, where we provide tutorials along with quizzes and challenges, which will help you practice and test your learning in real time. Also, the course includes projects to give you an awesome experience of how programming works in the real world. And for our YouTube subscribers, we are giving 50% off on the yearly plan. Sign up by scanning this QR code or use the link in the video description to claim your discount. We saw how to use the ternary operator. As per our need, we can also return a value from the ternary operator and assign it to a variable. Then we can use the variable after that. Let's modify this code. I'll create a result variable and I'll assign the value or the return value of the ternary operator to the result variable. Since I'm assigning the value to a variable, let me remove this console log. So what will happen is, first let me remove this other one. Now what will happen is, if age is greater than or equals 18, if this is true, then the result variable will be assigned the can vote string Otherwise, it will be assigned the cannot vote string. Let me console log the result and run this code. And you can see that I got cannot vote. This is because 15 greater than 18 was false. So the result value variable, the result variable had the value cannot vote. And that's what I got printed when I said console.log result. You can use either one of these approaches that we used for the ternary operator. However, if you need the value from the ternary operator to be used for other purposes later in the program, you should always store the value in a variable. In some cases, we can also use the ternary operator to replace the if-else statements to make our code a bit cleaner. So let's see the comparison between if-else and the ternary operator. As you can see, both the if-else and the ternary operator are checking if the value of score is greater than 50. And the code of the ternary operator obviously looks much cleaner and easier to read. So a simple if-else that has a single line of code can be replaced by a ternary operator in most cases. However, if the if-else statement has multiple lines of code, you should always go for the if-else statement. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these kinds of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video. So leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. Now to practice what we have learned, here's a programming task for you. Can you create a program to check whether a number is positive or negative? To create this program, create a variable named number and assign a value to it. Then using a ternary operator, check if the number is positive or negative. If the number is positive, print the number is positive. If the number is negative, print the number is negative. You'll find the answer to this question in our GitHub repository. And if you want to revise these concepts, you can find all these programs in our GitHub. I'll put the link in the video description. Now that we've reached the end of this video, it's time for the programming quiz. What is the correct ternary equivalent of the following if-else statement? 
Comment your answer below. Happy programming.